Hello guys welcome back, this is Shazex, and after the new update a lot of things have been nerfed. That's why I'm here to show you the top 4 best Town Hall 10 strategies that will help you secure 3 stars in every attack. Here's the recommended hero equipment, and if you don't have max level equipment, make sure to maintain at least this standard for your attacks. Don't worry the army composition links will be provided down below. I'll break down every step of these strategies, so let's get started right after a small intro. Starting off with our first base, let's understand the situation. The key to this attack strategy is to clear the heavy defenses using bowlers and witches, while the golems tank for them. Since this is a spam attack strategy, there's no need to overthink it. You can easily get 3 stars with this army if you deploy the troops along the correct path. As attackers, we need to understand the opponent's bases. Look for exposed compartments, weak points, and potential paths to the core. Now let me break down the strategy for this base. The enemy heroes in the clan castle are located close to the town hall, so we can start the attack from this side to gain huge value. First, we will drop two golems like this, then place witches in a line, followed by the heroes at this position. Next, we'll deploy the wall wrecker here, ensuring it moves toward the inferno tower and town hall, creating a path for our kill squad. Meanwhile, we'll deploy the bowlers. Remember, the golems are tanking the damage while the bowlers and witches deal damage from behind. Once the wall wrecker breaks, we'll drop a healing and rage spell on the bowlers. The raged bowlers will destroy the core in seconds. And the rest of the spells will be used accordingly. We'll use a poison spell on the enemy clan castle troops and place the jump spell in the core to give our troops access to the middle compartments. The free spell should be used on the opponent's heroes and heavy defenses, the troops will move together and clear the base within moments. Now, let me show you how I tripled this base. Ok now let's start the attack and here's the army combination. Don't worry I'll also link down below. Let's kick off by deploying our golems to start tanking, setting up a clear path toward the core for our troops. Once the tanking is established we'll release the witches, heroes and wall wrecker down the middle. As the funnel takes shape, we'll deploy all bowlers behind the wall wrecker, which will begin clearing the way for our kill squad. This strategy requires minimal effort, you just need to watch the wall wrecker advancing into the base, followed closely by the heroes and other troops. Now the enemy queen is taking shots at our troops, so let's freeze her and add a poison spell on the dangerous enemy clan castle troops. We'll also place a jump spell at the core to keep the troops from straying off path without it, the attack risks failing. As our clan castle troops emerge, we'll use a healing and rage spell combo on the bowlers to quickly shred through the core, wiping out the inferno tower and enemy king. The bowlers are absolutely crushing the base, and we still have the queen's ability ready, plus a golem surviving to continue tanking. Look at the time. Isn't this one of the simplest and strongest town hall 10 attack strategies? Let me know in the comments, and give a thumbs up if you agree. Remember, Trap positions may vary, so be prepared to adapt as needed. Drop a rage spell to boost the bowler's attack speed when they're inside the base, and if the enemy clan castle troops are stationed near the edges, you might need to adjust your funneling. Also, keep an eye on multi-inferno towers freeze spells can help neutralize them. For a complete guide, check the card above I've made a detailed video on similar bases. Now, let's jump into the second, even more exciting, strategy. First. Let's pick the best side for our queen charge. We want an area where we can target multiple air defenses, the clan castle and inferno towers. In this case we'll go for this side, aiming to knock out these two air defenses first. We'll use 4 zap spells on each air defense to destroy them, and then we'll start our queen charge by deploying the queen with 4 healers. Our main objective with the queen is to take out at least one air defense and the multi-inferno if possible. The queen will clear this entire section, including any clan castle troops. This setup is all about creating a clean path toward the core. Next, we'll begin our main attack from the opposite side, deploying the king to clear that section, which will help create a direct path for the dragons. We'll first drop balloons, followed by dragons, and then the stone slammer to push through the core in a straight path. The rest of the spells will be used as needed to support the troops as they advance. Now, let's dive into how I tripled this base, we can take out the queen with the air defense, yes and now the second air defense. Remember to take down nearby defenses damage in the process. Now we'll begin our queen charge from the selected side, waiting as she clears some trash buildings. 
To keep her on track we'll drop a baby dragon to prevent the queen from straying off her path. This process will help create a straight path for the dragons during the main attack. We'll add another baby dragon to assist with funneling and drop a test wall breaker, followed by more wall breakers to open up a path for the queen. While we couldn't break the wall through to the inferno tower, the queen is still progressing as planned. Now, without wasting time we'll deploy the king and some coco loons to clear any traps. Once the queen takes down the air defense, we'll start deploying the dragons along with the stone slammer. I chose this side because the multi-inferno is less dangerous to the queen than a single target inferno. We'll use poison and freeze spells to handle the enemy clan castle troops. Keep an eye on the queen as she moves through the base and watch out for any enemy clan castle troops or defending heroes. Our king is handling the defense's damage, keeping the attack on the right track. With this, the base is as good as finished. The queen charge isn't the main focus for this strategy all we really need is to take out a couple of key defenses and it's not that hard to take them and from there the dragons will do the heavy lifting. That's why I've ranked this strategy at number 2. Guys, don't forget to like share and subscribe for more awesome strategies. As it requires a lot of effort to make such videos. I'll link some of the best town hall 10 strategies in the card above check them out after finishing this one. Unlike other strategies this one requires practice, especially with timing for the zap spell, so ensure your queen has cleared a path and that air defenses are within range, keep an eye on the remaining air defenses and use any extra spells to support the dragons. The queen charge zap dragon attack relies heavily on precision and timing, utilizing the queen's pathing ability to create a solid funnel for the zap spell and clear the way for your dragons. Now, let's dive into the intense third strategy. Here's the attack strategy, and I'll start by breaking it down step by step. First we'll identify the key defenses to target. We'll initiate the queen charge on this side, placing the queen and all healers here. Our goal is to have the queen take out the enemy clan castle troops and other key defenses. However, since these defenses are positioned on one side of the base, it's better to start opposite the town hall side. The queen will clear out this entire section, and then we'll drop the king along with some wizards to clean up the outer buildings, the king will clear out his side, paving the way for our kill squad. As the queen and king clear their sides, a narrow path will open up for deploying our miners and hogs, we'll then deploy everything, including the wall wrecker, to drive a straight path into the base. Now, let me show you how I tripled this base. We'll start by deploying the queen and healers, waiting a few seconds for her to clear some buildings. Next, we'll drop a baby dragon to funnel and keep the queen from turning her to the right. Now to open the path, we'll send in wall breakers starting with a test wall breaker first. With the queen making her way inside, We'll drop the wizard and king on the left side of the base to clear out nearby buildings and save time. As the king and funneling troops work on that side, we'll focus on the queen but keep an eye out to ensure no defenses target them. Then deploy some coco loons to protect the healers from any air traps. We'll drop a rage spell on the queen. Once the queen has completed her part, we'll deploy the kill squad hogs and miners to finish the attack. Now, we'll deploy everything and it's all moving right on track. Since the queen's health is dropping, we'll use another rage spell to keep her alive until she reaches our target. Mastering these strategies will really elevate your attack. With dangerous clan castle troops emerging, we'll use poison and freeze spells to neutralize them. Drop the healing spells strategically when troops bunch up near multi-target infernos, bomb towers, wizard towers, or giant bombs, as this attack can be more challenging on bases with multi-infernos. But as you can see, I'm clearing this multi-inferno base easily with this army. We'll also use a rage spell on the queen to speed things up. With a solid number of troops still alive, it's clear how powerful this army is, you can adjust the spell composition as needed. Try to start deploying the kill squad, when at least 1 minute and 30 to 30 to 35 seconds remain otherwise, time failure becomes a real risk. 
This attack strategy almost guarantees 3 stars. So guys if you enjoyed this guide, drop a like to support the channel, it really helps boost the video in YouTube's algorithm. Let's speed up this attack and move to the most amazing last strategy. And there you have it. An easy triple. At number 4, we have the Zap Witch attack strategy, which is quite straightforward. Start by eliminating the Inferno Towers drop 4 Zap spells on each, followed by Earthquake spells. Since the enemy queen is near this air defense, we can also take her out, ensuring nearby defenses take some damage too. Next, we'll deploy 3 golems, spaced apart to act as tanks for the witches, and position the witches in a long line behind the golems. Place the wall wrecker in the center, aiming toward the town hall, and follow it up with the king and queen. This approach lets the flanks be cleared by the side troops while the main force drives through the core of the base. Let's launch the attack and see it in action. Let's begin by taking down the enemy queen in air defense with 4 lightning spells and 1 earthquake spell placed between them. With careful spell deployment, we can take out the enemy queen effectively. Now it's time to bring in the golems position them so two head down the sides while one moves toward the core. Behind them, we'll set the witches in a long line, and the siege machine will open a path for our heroes and witches. Once the funneling is in place and the first wall layer is broken, we'll deploy the wall breakers to ensure smooth entry. The wall wrecker will continue clearing a path for our kill squad. As the dangerous clan castle troops emerges we'll drop both poison spells and our queen along with the witches will make quick work of them. Super minions did some damage, taking out a few skeletons but it's manageable. The bowlers are now out of the clan castle. I haven't used any advanced hero equipment because these strategies are powerful enough that equipment is optional. So hey I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome strategies it takes a lot of effort to create these. We've got plenty of troops left to demolish this base. Just look at our squads on the left and right flanks they're doing an incredible job. The witches, led by the golem, have cleared out the side compartments and outside buildings, which is crucial for the zap witch attack strategy. But sometimes you have to adapt. You can find the full tutorial for this attack strategy on my channel, I'll link it in the iCard in description. Check out the timer we're aiming for a perfect 3 stars. Remember, every base layout is different, so be ready to adjust your strategy accordingly. Pay close attention to the positioning of defenses, and tweak your troop deployment and spell placement to exploit weaknesses in the enemy base. Mastering the Zap Witch strategy takes practice, so don't get discouraged if your first few attempts don't go as planned. Keep practicing, learn from your mistakes, and refine your approach to become a formidable attacker in Clash of Clans, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Don't forget to watch the videos on the iCard. Here's the army combination we're using. Until then, stay safe and stay beautiful. Peace.